Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video out at the range today with heavy metal. I'm excited because today is the first time I've had this baby at the range and we're gonna see what we think about it, see how it does for us. But this is the Stag Arms Pursuit Bolt Action. If I had to describe this, I would say this is the ultimate precision hunting rig. So everything you could dream up that you would want on your ultimate precision hunting rig, this thing has it and it's in green, my favorite color. This has so much stuff on it. I'm gonna literally read it right off of the website and roll in some B-roll because I will surely forget to tell you about something that's on here that you wanna know. So right off their website, Remington 700 short action footprint, 60 degree bolt throw, detachable 20 MOA rail on top comes with it. That's awesome. Three lug interchangeable bolt head, dual ejectors, toolless quick disassemble bolt. That's cool. Pinned recoil lug on the stock. It has adjustable comb height, adjustable length of pull, AR-10 style toolless stock removal. That's cool. Integrated QD cups, M-lock, Picatinny, it also has an Arca rail come with it in the box. It is 5 8 threaded for your brake or your cam. 416 stainless barrel. It is a Cerakoted barrel. And the trigger, Trigger Tech primary trigger, ambidextrous release on the mag, AICS style mag. Uh, yeah, and it also came with a bag rider out of the box. So everything you'd want on your precision uh, bench rig is also on this. Bag rider, adjustable everything, 20 MOA rail, heavy fluted threaded barrel, and a really nice flat adjustable trigger tech trigger on it. But we got to see how it groups. That's what we're doing here today. Let's go back to the bench. I'm going to get the scope slapped on here. Get this thing set up, bore sight it, then we're gonna take our time, go back to 100 yards, and see what kind of groups we can get out of it at my initial range trip with this thing. Let's go get it set up. All right, so real quick, everything I'm gonna slap on here. Can't hit anything without an optic on it, so putting a really nice optic on here. Super nice precision hunting rig. Wanted to put a super nice piece of glass on here. This is the Athlon Ares ETR four and a half to 30 by 56. So definitely going to be taking this long range in some future videos, stay tuned for that. But real quick on the specs here, 56 millimeter objective lens, 34 millimeter tube, letting all the light in. This one, it is in mils, first focal plane, and it has all the adjustments that you would want on here. Lockable turrets, adjustable parallax, adjustable eyepiece, fast focus eyepiece, if you want to call it that. And it even has aluminum uh, reticle. Let's uh, get this thing slapped on here. Rings I got for it, precision rig, precision scope. Hey, Athlon, precision rings. And these are the uh, 34 millimeters because this has that big old 34 millimeter tube. I'm gonna run my Banish 30 can on there from Silencer Central and 150 grain. Core lock tipped is what I'm gonna run. This has a one to 10 twist barrel. In all my experience, I've had the best luck out of 150 grains in a one and 10 twist, but we're about to see how this stag likes this stuff. All right, so we got this Athlon on top. I checked the torque on everything. The rings, the top of the rings, the rail, everything's torqued good and perfect. Now we got a bore sight it. I got my laser bore sighter on there. And if you've never seen me use one of these before, we're just bore sighting it with a laser. Down there, I'll pop it up on the screen. I've got a paper plate. The laser is essentially where the boom light's gonna hit at 10 yards and then I wanna align my scope for one and a half to two inches above that dot. And that is gonna get us on paper. So let me unlock this turret and we're gonna do the adjustment here. Let me give it a little more zoom and get my parallax turned down because we're at 10 yards. I'm gonna back off some of that zoom. 
eight power zoom there we go so i've got my dot on where the barrel's aiming and now i'm moving the crosshairs to where the top dot is so eh. that ought to be roughly where we want it i'm gonna go ahead put my can on the end and we'll fling one here at 10 yards just to make sure we're in the ballpark at 10 yards all right now got the can on we're at 10 yards i'm gonna go ahead and take the zoom all the way off man that is a super nice scope and we're just gonna send one here at 10 yards i just was reminded here looking at the barrel I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but these stag arms are made in Cheyenne, Wyoming. That's pretty sweet. But here at 10 yards, uh, I'm gonna aim at the top dot and I wanna hit roughly close to the bottom dot and then we'll take it back to a hunter. But super nice trigger on this thing. All right, so Good squeeze and we hit the dot on the bottom. So that's gonna get us on paper at 100. Let's go back to 100, get it sighted in, do a group or two with this thing. That is sweet. Man, whoo, that ejects it good too. All right, back here at 100 yards. Let's get her loaded up and sighted in. It's not any good to us if we don't have it sighted in. Let's go ahead and just put three in the mag here. But uh, this is literally my first time at the range with this thing. And just the squeeze there at 10 yards, man. Hey, this got me excited. But let's see where we're at on paper here at 100 yards. We ought to be decently close. I'm using my Caldwell Lead Sled DFT2. I'm sighting stuff in. I like to use this thing. Make sure that I'm taking me out of the equation. My goodness, this optic is very, very good. It's Athlon four and a half to 30. We got the parallax set here. Let's go ahead and crank up the zooms. Get my parallax perfect. Oh my, crystal clear. This is a nice piece of glass. Athlon Aries. If you haven't looked at these, check them out. But oh, I got three in here. Enough yapping. Is that good? Now this trigger I've got turned down and it is very nice. I'm gonna do my absolute best. Like I said, on this rest, taking me out of the equation. Just see how this Stag 308 likes this 150 grain stuff here. Here we go. Center target and we'll dial it in from there. Really good squeeze. Looks like we're down almost two squares and almost left one. So let me go ahead and adjust that. It's down, so we need to go up, crank it that way. The thing I like about this turret on the top, it's not loosey goosey or fudgy. You've got to turn it to make it turn and it's obvious that you're clicking it. All right, now it's left, so we need to go right. So let me pop that out. And which way is right? This way. That ought to have got us closer to the bullseye here. So we'll see how my adjustment was. Man, that bolt is super smooth. One thing, I mean, I put my eyeballs on a lot of optics. This thing, you don't have to fight it to get that clear spot. You know, sometimes you might be just working on getting your perfect thing where you don't have that black shadow. This thing is just money. Real easy to get in there on the scope. Number two here, see how my adjustment was. Perfect squeeze. Did I go too far to the right? Let's bring it back a couple. Left is that way. Perfect squeeze and we jump to the other side. So that's telling me that maybe 
uh, this stag don't like this 150 grain, but I'm gonna go ahead and split the difference and bring it back right a smidge. And let's go ahead and do a group. I'm gonna make sure this can's on tight. That was a smidge tiny loose, but I don't think enough to make it make a difference. Now let me load up three more and I'll do a group of three. Like I said, this is one in 10 twist. 150 grain was my best guess on what it would like, but stay tuned. We're definitely gonna do some more testing in the future. Top left target here. We'll just do a group of three, no touching the scope dials here. Good squeeze. Again, not touching the scope this time, doing a group of three. Good squeeze. So far we're, what is that? We're still inside an inch group. Let's see how this one does. Number three. Good squeeze. All right, so there's our first group of three out of this thing. Barrel's not too hot, I can sit here and hold it, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool 10, 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna come back and do two more groups with these 150s and we'll get some more data on it. Whew, I love that trigger and that glass. All right, so back at 100 again. Let it cool, so it's definitely down to room temperature there. Two more groups of three here. Take my time and do my best. We'll get some data and an average on running these 150 Remingtons through here. Good squeeze. Good squeeze. So far, it's looking like our average is going to be, I'm dropping my breast, right at about an inch with these boot lights. There was two touching right there, so. Let's do another group of three here. Digging up my brass off the ground here while I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> All right, so our group of three with a warm barrel was, oh, shade inside of an inch, I think. We'll measure them with the calipers here in a second. Then a cold barrel, we had two touching overall, probably borderline an inch group. Let's do three more. This is some of my most favorite stuff, believe it or not, is just slowing down and testing stuff out. Make sure that can's on there, and it is. Bottom right target. Good squeeze there. Good squeeze there. And good squeeze there. So that group had two touching too. Interesting. Well, let's go down there and measure those groups with the calipers here. All right, so just measured these groups with the calipers. Kind of odd results. I would not have expected this, but uh, I'll show you what I mean by odd. Let me flip this around. So, Stag Pursuit 308 with these 150 grain Corlock tips. Here's what we did. So this was signing it in, one, two, three, with a warm barrel. I went ahead and did a group of three. Got a 0.98 inch group at 100 yards. So inside that one inch benchmark, which these are one inch squares, then let it cool 10, 15 minutes and got a 0.97 See, so inches, you know, it's a one inch square just inside the half mark of this one and that measuring with the digital calipers here within one one hundredth of an inch with the cool one and then another warm barrel without letting it cool, just one, two, three, four, five, six, and I got a 0.96 inch group right here. 
So three in a row, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98. <laughs> that thing is definitely consistent. All very good squeezes out of that trigger. That trigger is awesome. And I've got it turned down quite a bit, but I don't recall ever having anything so consistent there. All of them just a smidge inside of an inch there. All right, so there you have it, guys. Honestly, I really don't have any complaints. This thing has everything on it that you would want in a precision hunting rig, like at the beginning of the video, that's what I called it. I don't know if that's what they call it, but that's what I call it. It's got the heavy fluted barrel, which is what I love. It's got the more tactical vertical grip. It's got the bag rider, 20 MOA rail. I put a super nice uh, piece of glass on this at Athlon Aries. And yeah, trigger is fantastic, which is one of the things that people tend to swap out. This came with a very nice tunable trigger out of the box. I wouldn't touch that trigger at all. Action, super smooth, didn't have any snags or hiccups. And this thing, when it ejects them, it, pew, it slings them. Uh, but you saw it there, almost unbelievably consistent with those 100 yard groups. And that is with these 150 grain core lock tips. I think the next loads that I'll try out of this, probably a 169 grain match projectile, and then a 180 grain, another hunting projectile like this core lock tip, just to see what it does. And then eventually I'm gonna get around to it. I'll make some of my own loads for this as well, but one of the absolute finest bolt actions I've ever had my hands on. Like I said, I have no complaints. Um, absolutely love the trigger. Can't wait. Um, another thing I'm gonna do with this is take it long range. This would be a, a fantastic long range bench rig and or uh, take out west and, and get a mule deer with it or something. Hmm, maybe that's a good idea for next deer season. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know in the comments down below have you seen the Stag Pursuits? They're pretty awesome. They look good and they fling the bow lots. You saw real consistent here today out at the range, but stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. Got a whole lot more coming on this Stag Pursuit bolt action. Appreciate y'all, we'll see you on the next one. Hoo-doo!